Hey out there, it's Mike Wardinsky here, and today I'm going to show you how to save a ton of time by batch processing your panorama and HDR images in Lightroom Classic. But before we get there, I wanted to remind you to head over to naturemike.com to check out my workshops, private lessons, and some great how-to articles. So let's dive in. Here we are in the grid view of Lightroom, and you can see I've already labeled some of my photos with colors. Uh, to do that, you can just come down to this lower right-hand corner and make sure that color label is turned on, and then you can just simply select one photo, shift-click on the last photo, and then change it to whatever color you'd like. I simply do this to help myself stay organized. Whenever I see red, I know that that photo is designed to be blended with another photo. Now you can see I've already created a few panoramas here, but when you first upload your photos to Lightroom, you won't have any panoramas. You won't have any separation between your pans. So it's not a bad idea to take a photo of your hand or just some way of knowing where a panorama starts and where a panorama ends because otherwise it can just get a little confusing and it'll take a little more time to sort through your panos. In order to do a batch panorama, we want to do a single panorama first because we need to tell Lightroom what settings we want to use for the rest of the panos. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this first image and shift click on the last image in this series and then I will control click on a Mac, right click on a PC, photo merge and then go to panorama. That's going to open up the panorama dialog and whatever parameters we set on the right hand side here will be the parameters that are used in the batch panorama processing. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this set to spherical. I could choose cylindrical which will sort of stretch the scene a little bit and if it was a vertical panorama I would probably choose perspective. Now it's a good idea to process horizontal pan panoramas together because you'll probably want to use spherical or cylindrical and then vertical panoramas separately uh, because you're most likely going to want to use perspective. So I'm going to come down here and I'm not going to choose fill edges. I tend to like to leave that unchecked but I might choose auto crop and uh, just for good measure so you can see the difference I'm going to go ahead and check auto settings. And lastly I'm going to also check create stack. That's going to place all of our source images right underneath our panorama and keep our Lightroom workspace just a little more tidy. So I'm going to go ahead and hit merge and you can see in the left hand side it's creating our panorama right now. And as long as our sort is set to capture time that's going to pop up right next to these four photos. Okay so here's our first panorama and once I have a panorama complete I like to give it a different color label so go ahead and hit the 7 key and make this one yellow. Okay so now all we have to do is go down to our other pans. I'll click the first one, shift click the last one, control or right click and we're going to go to stacking, group into stack, the next set of pans, click the first one, shift click the last one, control, photo merge, or excuse me, stacking, group into stack, and we'll go to the next pan, control, stacking, group into stack, and our last one, control, stacking, group into stack. So now that we have our pans grouped into stacks, I'll go ahead and click on one of the pans, and then I will command on a Mac, control click on a PC on the rest of them. There we go. And now I will control click on a Mac or right click on a PC, go to photo merge and choose panorama. And you notice I didn't get the panorama dialog. I simply get this progress bar up here in the left hand corner. And that's because it's using my previous settings from my last pan that I created up here. And so I'll go ahead and fast forward the video. Okay, Lightroom has finished up and now you can see I have my four pans here. So I'll go ahead and click on one, command click on a Mac or a control on a PC. And then I'll come down here to my yellow label, click that. And now I know, I can easily look at this and know that it's a panel. It also says that it's a panel right in the name as well. If I want to see the source files, I can simply click where it says five here. And I can open that up and see the source files. If I want to hide them, I'll just click right back on that. So that's how you batch process panorama images. But what if you want to batch process HDR panos? Well, that's pretty simple too. So in this collection, I have a series of three separate HDR panoramas. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the last image in the scene. And I will shift click onto the first one, which is this one right here. And I'll control click on a Mac or right click on a PC and go to stacking just like we did before. I'll do the same on this series. 
And lastly, on this top one. Okay, so I have my three sets of HDR panoramas, and I need to process one. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And just like we did before, shift click on the end, controller right click, photo merge, and this time HDR panorama. Just like last time, I can make any adjustments that I want to apply to the rest of the panos. I could choose cylindrical or go back to spherical. And I'll go ahead and leave auto crop. This time I'll turn auto settings off and I'll hit merge. Okay, so here's our panorama. And now all I have to do is select my other two. And I will control a right click, photo merge, HDR panorama. And that will begin the HDR panorama batch processing. Now this process can take quite a bit of time and is a little bit processor intensive. So if you have a slower computer, it's probably best just to kind of let the computer do its thing before you start going through other photos and start editing. That way Lightroom is a little less likely to crash. And I'll fast forward the video here. Okay, and there you have it. We have our HDR panoramas all processed. One thing to keep in mind when you're creating an HDR panorama is you want the images to be in the same order as they were when you shot them. Like you don't want this photo sitting here. That could throw off the HDR panorama merge and cause an error to happen. Lastly, let's look at batch processing HDR images. I'll go ahead and select one of the images and then shift click on the last, control or right click, and then we will go to photo merge HDR. Just like we did with the panoramas, we can adjust our parameters here on the right hand side. I can choose if I wanna add deghosting, and then again, I will create a stack and hit merge. While it's creating the HDR, I'll come over here and start creating my stacks. Okay, so we have our stacks created. I will select this last one, then shift click on the first one, control or right click, photo merge, HDR. And you can see Lightroom has automatically begun the batch processing. Okay, so we have all of our HDR images here. I'm going to go ahead and shift click. So we select all four and I'll give these a color label. My color for HDR images is green. And so now I can see that these are all HDR. Even though it says it right here, it's just a little bit easier to change the color label. That way I can quickly see that it's an HDR image. Okay, well that's it. I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Go ahead and give me a comment if you'd like. And don't forget to check out naturemike.com for more how-to articles, workshops, and virtual post-processing lessons. I'll see you in the next video.